I took the granite to the skate park yesterday and ended up going through another spur gear. Uh, see, I don't know if the motor has moved. It's hard to tell. But, um, and it's weird too, as in, like, I don't know exactly how this sits. It must sit something like this because it misses when it's in the car. It just makes that noise. Um, but obviously I can move just without the other piece on. I can move this around. So, I don't know if, I mean, the bearings feel perfectly fine. But uh, it seems like maybe from crashing and stuff, the plate has moved. I tightened those screws down pretty good. But, uh, and I do have actually the um, the motor plate here on order that has the pre-drilled holes for the pinions. Basically what came on my Sentin. So I just took the power module out of that and then put it in there because of the same thing. So... That's kind of why I ended up getting the granite. This way, whichever truck I'm using the most right now, I can just make sure that, that one's working. And then I'll go get another one of these, which is uh, 7 bucks, so that's not too bad. But uh, just for the, the plastic gear itself, not for all the other stuff. But um, I have the metal one coming on order, which I ordered basically when I got the truck. And I also ordered that metal plate with all the... Because I saw how it has this. And I don't really like the... Because it can move. Like, the slottedness of it. So, um, I ordered that plate. And I've been waiting probably a month and a half now, at least. So, uh, hopefully it comes in soon. And then I can see how it is with this one. That's why I'm going to go take it to the skate park right now. This has got the 15 tooth pinion in it. Because it down the Sentin. And it has this pre-drilled motor plate, so the motor should not go anywhere. And I've never had a problem with it, and I've flipped the crap out of this thing end over end and everything. So, I don't know. We'll see. If that can hold up in here with me driving it at the skate park, then uh, I know for sure at least I'll be happy about getting that for the, like this plate for the granite as well. And... This plate, though, will not work with the newer um, back piece here. The plates have, like, it, th there's a bit of a different design because this is a newer one. So you can't just put this plate into this pla older plastic piece kind of deal. So you need the version 2 motor mount and um, back plastic piece here. The front piece, though... Like the new front piece, that works on both. So I know this because I ended up buying this for, to update my uh, Sentin. But uh, the back piece of the plastic didn't work with that motor mount. So that's still the original. And then that's my updated one that I bought. And this is the granite. So the granite already comes with the new stuff on it. And yeah, just so anyone... You know, if anyone's having problems with the mesh and stuff like that, you can get a plate from Arma that has the pre-drilled holes already for you. But you need to also order... I think it does come with the plastic piece with it. I can't remember because I ordered it a while ago. And when it comes in, I will know what it comes with, obviously. But if not, then I'll have to order that piece too because that will not work with this. So this piece will work with it. Which is, uh, I have found that this is not any easier to take off. So, I mean, it's still a pain to pull back on these and try and stick something in behind. Because you can never, once you get dirt underneath there, you can never just pull this out by hand. This is not easy to come out once you've got stuff underneath there. So, and also they don't tell you this too. They say, yeah, one screw to take out this piece. And you take this piece out, one screw drive shaft comes out and then you're supposed to just slide this out but you should also when you do do it take off this little bracket here that's over on the other side that's holding the wires there it's just one screw in the bottom but then that allows you to slide the whole thing back because this heat sink ends up hitting that when you get down to the back of it and then it's still a pain to get out at the very end so you take that out of the way and i usually just use an extra bit 
and I stick the bit underneath here to lift, prop this up, and then stick a little screwdriver in the back and work it its way out. So from brand new, this thing comes out in and out super easy to work on. But once you get some dirt inside and underneath here, oh man, this thing's a pain to get out sometimes, but it's all right. At least it's just the one screw there, one screw there, and you take all that off. So not too bad. But I'm going to go back to the skate park and we'll see if this metal plate can actually handle it. Uh, I think this time it was partially on me for uh, destroying the spur gear. But also it seems like the um, like the mesh has just gone out of whack. So I was going to take this one apart and put the spur gear in to see how the gap is with the new gear. But I'll do that once it comes in and then we'll really see how it is. Because I didn't have that much play in it. That's a lot of play right there. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes.